If you guys are struggling to make at least a thousand dollars a week on eBay, I'm gonna be sharing a few tips on how I make about five to six thousand a week on eBay and how you guys can kind of scale down and do it in that fashion. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So the, I think the most important thing um, that you guys have to focus on to make at least a thousand a week is gonna be the product. You don't need a fancy warehouse, you don't need an office, you don't really need like a super dedicated space. Um, you do need like a little desk. All, all you really need is a, a one desk, a little uh, portable computer. On one desk like this, you can take pictures, uh, you can ship out of here, and you can clean items and test items all in one desk. And you can do that out of a bedroom, and you can do like a little uh, row of little boxes. You don't need that much inventory in order to reach that goal. Um, and I think a lot of people are trying to make it seem like you have a big operation um, instead of just kind of getting the items to make the thousand dollars a week with the least amount of work possible. So I think a lot of people focus on the setup before they focus on making the money. First get the money and then, you know, invest into like a setup. So right here, this is one of my offices, which is completely not necessary um, for what I really do. But um, I'm at the point now where I wanted something like this and now I kind of built it. And right here is my warehouse area. This is my doggy right here. And these are some of the uh, items that I recently got. Um, I have a uh, pretty decent sized eBay store, uh, but right now it is kind of a transition phase. I'm getting ready to move. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying a few things, but what I mainly do is 30% of my store is filled up with bigger items like this, which is about 80 to hundred dollar average sale price. And I have a lot of space like this right now or a lot of items like this right now and then in these rows right here i have a lot of um you know smaller items that go for about uh you know 15 to 20 dollars each and that's 70 percent of my store is these kind of items 30 percent of my store is that kind of items so if you guys can focus on that kind of product but obviously at a smaller scale just getting a few of these a few of the small ones and kind of keeping that 70 30 margin in your store um and trying to get to that that thousand dollar a week goal you can definitely you know i've been doing this for almost three years now three and a half years now and this is something i've been growing uh pretty quickly over the time like pretty hard um i've had employees right now i'm, I'm uh, all by myself but this is not necessary at all to make a good income on ebay i'm just trying to push a little harder and that's why i have like a space like this but you don't need this you can do this out of your house and you can definitely start off small and make that thousand a week um even part-time from a normal job. So what I would recommend you guys to do is finding the least uh, amount of items possible to make that thousand. So focus on items that make you 100, 200, 250, 300, 50, 80. Uh, try not to focus too much on like the $15 items, the $10 items, because uh, chances are you don't want to put that much effort into eBay or you know it's just better to have items that are more expensive in the beginning uh, once you're trying to scale, you know, much bigger to, um, you know, like a really large scale, my, I wouldn't consider myself like a, a huge, huge eBay reseller, but myself, I got to the point where I couldn't find any more items that were 250, 300, 400, a hundred dollars, eighty dollars. I got to the point where I was pretty much maxed out on those, and I couldn't make any more money because I was just buying everything I could, and then there was nothing else. So that's when I incorporated the small items. At first, all I did was items like these in the racks which was, you know, 180, 200, um, the very good average sale price. And when, where I really started to make more money was when I incorporated the small items. And that was a good baseline on my sales. Like every day I'll make like five, $600 off the small ones. And every day I'll sell like two, three items that are like 200 or hundred uh, or 300. And then I'll get to like that thousand dollars a day, um, with three items that are big. And then, you know, like 25, 30 that are small that are like 15 or 20 or $30. Um, and that's really where I've been able to make more money because there are so, there's only so many items um, that are expensive that you can find, you know, out there. If you can just find, you know, thousands of items like this and you can just, you know, uh, keep buying them and buying them, you know, do that. Like I, I recommend you guys do that. But uh, from my experience, it's very hard to find those kind of items and um, it's just a hassle and, if you only live off those kind of items, you can make at least a thousand a week. In the beginning, you can definitely get to a thousand a week with only those kind of items. But if you want to scale to something higher, um, it is very, very hard. Uh, but definitely, I'd recommend you guys to focus on those more expensive items. 
uh, learn how to search them up. Uh, you, you can literally search up any item anywhere. Go to flea markets, go to garage sales, um, and all that stuff, and you can definitely find those kind of items. They're not going to be normal. You might go to the flea market and only find one item like that. But um, if you can find five, six, seven items that are expensive like that and good, and a couple of the small ones, let's say if you buy, buy 10 um, decent items like this, right, at the flea market, and then you find 30 of the smaller ones that are $15, $25, list those throughout the week and watch your sales get there. Um, and you guys can sell the, you guys can check the sell through rate on all of them, see how quickly they sell and all that. And, uh, it's very, very doable to do at, at least a thousand a week. Um, it's not impossible. I've seen people do it out of a bedroom. Um, uh, and you know, if I'm talking about sales, obviously profit is different. Um, but you know, you guys get the gist of it. Uh, you guys can take the ideas that I've given you and then you guys can run with it. Um, if you guys learned something in this video, uh, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, a comment, or anything like that. If you guys are new, consider subscribing. My name is Dave Play. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. I'm going to catch you guys later.